how are you doing? How are you? Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, good to you. see you too. So good to see you. Yeah. So, Paris last time. I know, Paris. Yeah. And now LA, yeah. Paris, LA. We're so not glamorous, bad. Jamie. Not bad, not bad. How have you been? Life is good? Life's very good, yeah. Life's really good. Thank you, yeah. So th this is brilliant. Were you familiar with Hervé? Because you were, you were too young, right? Fantasy Island. I was too... I also just not sure we got it in Belfast. Yeah. And, um, I remember Love Boat, which was a similar vibe and Aaron Spelling at the same kind of time. So I just, I if someone showed me a picture of Hervey, I'd be like, oh yeah, he's the guy who's in Fancy Island and he was in Man with the Golden Gun. But I wouldn't know anything beyond that about him. You know. So do you remember the first time you acted here, De Plain, De Plain, or The Plain, The Plain, whatever he was known for saying? De Plain, De Plain. Yeah. Um, I watched, once I knew I was doing this job, or I was nearly, when, when it was sort of in talks about doing it, I did watch some episodes of Fantasy Island because I couldn't really remember what it was all about. And it's a pretty cool show, very cool show, a bit mad, and, uh, but our film's a bit mad yeah, as well. Say, so your film's a bit mad. Yeah, so uh, it all made sense, I think. What, what do you think? I mean, obviously his life is fascinating, but why do you think this makes such an interesting story to tell? I think just the parallels between what my character Danny Tate is going through and, and uh, what Hervé is going through and I just think you, you get taken on a very unexpected journey in this film I think there's um, you have an idea of what it's going to be and how you're going to feel and what's going to happen and it, it everything gets turned on its head and uh, I think people will be a bit um, yeah, sort of sidebarred by it in a, in, a, in a good way. Did you have a good time with Peter making this? I loved it yeah no, Pete and I got on very well and it's a uh, you know, it was a very tough shoot. It was um, like a lot of things. You don't really have enough time in the schedule, and um, everything sort of kick bollock scramble to finish every day and uh, stressful long days. But um, it's all worth it, I think. Did you get any Game of Thrones secrets out of him? I've never seen Game of Thrones in my life. Stop it! So, um, Stop it right now! How can you never have seen Game of Thrones? It just passed me by. I don't know why. <laughs> it just passed you by. I don't know. It's like in eight years of just not not doing it for me. I don't know why. I just it's one of those things. And then now the idea of doing it and eight eight seasons of it is really you know daunting to me. So I'm probably never gonna watch it. Did he find that funny? Did Peter find it funny that you'd never seen it? I don't think Peter believes me. I'm telling him all the time that I don't, I don't watch. Do any it. of us believe you? No. Well, there's lots of us. My wife has never seen it. You know, there's lots of us have never seen it. You don't know what you're missing. You need to catch up. I've seen minute I know so many people in it, I have so many friends who are in it. And um and that makes me not want to see it more. <laughs> what know. is wrong with this anyway, man? Maybe one day. One day I'll get around to it. Now what about the Ryder Cup? Yeah, How much fun, fun did you have playing in that? Yeah, it was incredible. It was an amazing experience. Um very frustratingly I had stuff to do in London on the Friday and um you know had to go home and see my family at the weekend so I didn't get to stick around for the main event. But uh yeah we had a lot of fun doing that, yeah. Did you get to meet Tiger? Who? Tiger? Tiger Woods, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't meet Tiger. No. <laughs> you know, you know no, that, never that Tiger. Never Thrones, never heard of Tiger Woods. Uh, no, I didn't get to meet Tiger, no, no, didn't get near him. Are you happy to see him having a comeback, though? You're obviously very into golf. I think it's brilliant for golf, like, absolutely. Golf sort of needs it more than I think they realise, you know. The viewing figures, if he is playing and not playing, are drastically different, so um, it's a good thing for golf, you yeah. know. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, never miss a video.